Right, I'm gonna do a quick burger challenge. It's a 10 minute burger challenge because we're here in the middle of this incredible park and I have a wonderful little hippo friend down there. Fingers crossed, he'll stay in there. If he stays in there, I can get this thing done. So it is a burger cooked on a brai. Brai, basically, in South Africa is a barbecue, okay? Now, uh, I've got a sort of 60, 20, 20 uh, mix. 60% chuck, 20 rib, and 20 fat. So there's quite a lot of fat into this burger. We're gonna make it a little bit more local, okay? Now, this is a local brai spice, almost like uh, your equivalent to a garam masala. Now, I wanna cook this quick, okay? The secret when you're up against it time-wise, it's flatten the burger. Flatten it down, and you'll see as it hits the grill, it's gonna literally sizzle up and almost sort of get back into that nice, tight shape. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on there, okay? Touch of butter, just put the back. I know there's a lot of fat in the burger, but I wanna caramelize that butter, okay? Now, this is almost gonna be like a Zulu burger because I'm gonna finish it with a pele pele. I'll explain that in a minute. So burger's beautifully seasoned. Don't forget to season the burgers around the side as well, okay? It's the one part of the meat that no one seasons. And around the sides, roll it in that seasoning. Get them nice and flat, and then onto the grill. Now, barai, here we go. In and on. Good, and get those buns toasted as well at the same time. Here we go. So, get these toasted. Toasting the buns are super important because that's gonna give me a lot more sort of stability on that burger. So when we go to slice, it doesn't start breaking down. Also, when you toast them, they absorb so much more of the juice better and the bread doesn't go soggy. Really important. Man, this is hot. You can see the hippo over there. Slightly agitated this morning. We're sort of invading his space. Toasting my buns. And that's gonna give it a really nice sort of crispy texture. Beautiful. Off, off, on, and on. Shit, that's hot. Doesn't look that hot, but trust me, that is so hot. Now, start to lay that up. Now, from there, I'm gonna grill my onions. Again, a little bit of butter into the onions. That'll help caramelize them beautifully. Straight on a really nice hot part of the grill on. And now you'll start to see the uniqueness of that barai, okay? So it's like a beautifully uh, super hot barbecue. And I've got a really nice uh, cherry wood underneath those charcoals. From there, take a little bit of garlic, okay? And I just want to sort of literally get the garlic on to the barbecue as well. I want to roast that garlic and go over the burger as well at the same time. This is the most amazing uh, locally made halloumi, okay? So it's a sort of a nice, firm, salty cheese. Now, I wouldn't traditionally serve it with a burger, but the textures are amazing. I'm gonna grill that halloumi there. Now, flip, onions, beautifully charred. caramelized onions and the garlic. Every time I've always come to South Africa, especially on some of those ultra marathons we've done, every township has a barai going. And it is an amazing way of cooking because everything gets done so easily. But the flavor is incredible. Now uh, look, you can actually cover the whole of that halloumi and it caramelizes beautifully. It's the only way I really enjoy eating that kind of cheese because it's quite squeaky, so caramelizing on the barai gives it that really nice flavor. Now, turn that burger, beautiful. Up, beautiful. Charm those onions and the garlic, I'll show you in a minute. Now, pele pele. This is like the sort of uh, local spice. Two thirds chili, caramelized onions, touch of garlic, and bound together with a little bit of olive oil. Now, look, I'm gonna place that on top of the burger. So it starts to cook on there as well now. And that flavor, trust me, beautiful. Again, on. Now, when you come to build these burgers, okay, think about what you're doing and the textures. On the base here, I get my lettuce, okay? And be quite firm with that lettuce. 
and sort of almost spread the lettuce on the shape of the base, okay? Look, down. Give that a little seasoning there. After that, I got my tomato. Again, a little season in there. From there, just a nice smidging of my Pele Pele. And that's gonna act like that wonderful sort of enhancer that will lift the flavor of that burger. Now, what we're gonna do with the garlic? The garlic's now sort of toasted. And I'm just gonna sit that garlic on top of the halloumi and sort of brush it. It's got a nice roasted garlic flavor. That garlic roast. Now, from there, the most exciting part, and that's assembling the burgers. Got my cheese, which is gonna go on top of the pate. When you taste that now, halloumi. Oh my God, so tasty. Now, we start the layering. Burger goes on. Beautiful. Look at that. And that pele pele gives that incredible heat. Grilled halloumi on top. And then, my onions. Hippo's rested. Beautiful. I'm not a massive fan of raw onions on a burger. So, look, beautifully caramelized. Cooked onions, way better. And then, from there, just a little touch of a pele pele inside the onion. And then look, from there, lettuce on the top, lettuce on the bottom, and then bang. Look at that. That is what I call a beautiful Zulu-inspired burger. Lightly press it down, we can, because we've toasted those buns. And then look. Look at that. Beautiful. And look at that. That is a beautiful Zulu burger. Bon appétit. Let me know in the comments what you think of that amazing dish. And if you missed Uncharted, trust me, you can watch it on the link below or on the Nat Geo app.